guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do a really fun project and it's going to be styling my wall jungle bar. I have these plant shelves that I got from Ikea where I store all of my house plants and I styled it up to look really cute. I love the plants that I have displayed there. And we finally got around to hanging our bar shelves that we had in our old apartment. They're from Pottery Barn, I think, but they're discontinued, which is really sad because I think they're super cute. It's basically a set of shelves. One is for the wine, that's that one. And the other one is for bottles and glasses. I wanted to feature this space because I think that bar carts are really cute, but we just didn't have any floor space to allocate for it. This is our dining table that we hardly ever use. It's on wheels, so we can wheel it out and expand it if we want to. There's also chairs inside. Just for some context, here's our living room. You can see our couch is in the middle and our entertainment center is on the right. I have been organizing a lot since we moved in, but I haven't really been doing a lot of styling since I'm really intimidated by that. But I've been taking some classes online and learning something new. One of the first things I learned in this styling classes is to go on Pinterest and just take a look at similar spaces and see what you like and don't like. So from then, I just wanted to base my space around two pieces. This is a wine bottle holder from Anthropology, and it's a whale and it's adorable. It was a little expensive for what it was, but I love it. And I also wanted to use this candle holder that I got from Bath and Body Works a long time ago. It was kind of weird, but I wanted to work around these two pieces because I really liked them and they weren't in use. So the first thing I did, of course, was just to put the wine bottles in. That was gonna be the easiest thing to do. And I think they look super, super chic in this wine shelf. Next, I wanted to throw on the glassware. I intentionally went from the longest glasses to the shortest glasses. I don't know if this is the correct way to do this, but it looked the nicest to me to have all of the short glasses on one side and all the long glasses on the other. And then I wanted to put the supplies needed to make a cocktail and I decided to put the wine bottle openers in that candle holder instead of a candle because I thought it was really cool. I also found that my bottles were a little bit dusty, so I took the time to wipe them off before I put them on the shelf so everything looked nice and crisp. And speaking of bottles, the ones that we had, the gin bottles and vodka bottles, were very, very large. So instead of putting those directly on the shelf, which I thought was gonna be a little too heavy and also a little bit gauche, I stuck them in very cute bottles that I had around. They're not matching, they're not exactly alike, but I just decanted some of the gin and some of the vodka into smaller containers and then I wrote on them with chalk marker and I thought it looked really cute and sort of quirky and I wanted to go for that quirky industrial vibe. And of course, I just wanted to pile some stuff on and see how it looked. I wanted it to look balanced, but not too crowded, but also uh, I wanted to store stuff on there. <laughs> so there was a little delicate balance that I had to uh, keep. And I also definitely wanted to use my little whale. There he is, super adorable. Oh my goodness. I stuck him right on the corner there. And I just wanted to put one bottle inside, just, just for funsies, you know because I only had six bottles of wine, so I had to put one in the middle on the first shelf, but there, it looks really adorable. So when you're styling a space, I think that you should stand back and look and see if you like it or not. And I decided that I just wanted to move some stuff around and just see how it looked. I thought I wanted to create this little trio on the right of different heights of items, and then I wanted to arrange the bottles in a very pleasing way. I don't know if I did a good job or not. Let me know. Maybe it's a little too crowded, but um, I don't know. It's good for now. All right, so I'm all done styling my bar, and I'll take you on a little tour of the plants and the bar. These two shelving units are from Ikea. They're super cheap. I think they were like 50 bucks a, a piece and they're great because they have glass shelves so they allow the light to filter through. And I know that I have a sticker that's up there. I will definitely take that off right now. Oh my gosh. All right, I got the sticker off with some Goo Gone. You guys, that stuff is the best, but I have my biggest and most weedy 
of my house plants is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. She puts out a new leaf like every week and she won't stop growing. She's kind of out of control, but I'm kind of here for it. And the string of hearts is also like really long. Like what, 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 what? These are also super easy to propagate. I just cut off some and put it in a pot and uh, I put it on top of the soil in a little circular fashion and this is like only like I don't know like a month old or something so she's uh she's she's prolific anyway we here I have a little um marble queen pothos she's living her best life up there I'm not going to tell you what all the plants are but I'm going to show you my favorites I've got my um uh, Scandapsis pictus over here she's absolutely one of my favorites because I love a vining plant like look how long she is oh my goodness and then over here we got a high maintenance divas yes uh, these don't like a lot of direct sunlight but they do like a little bit of light that's why they're farther away from the window but um, we got a very nice variegated maranta which I got for my birthday she's got some brown tips don't hate on her she came kind of distressed um, but she's recovering she's got lots of new leaves but I love Maranta, I love Maranta so much. And we've got, um, this is Calathea medallion. It had spider mite, so I treated it and all the leaves are turning brown because of that. Um, this plant is off, I, th I think these these two, this medallion and this also this pinstripe Calathea, Calathea ornata, I feel like more trouble than it's worth. Like it's so pretty, but oh my gosh, she's so temperamental and it gets spider mites if you look at it wrong. So I don't know how much longer I'll be keeping these, but um, Orbifolia seems to be doing okay. And this was my most troubled Calathea for a while but she seems to be bouncing back I had this for like several months and it did absolutely nothing but now it's putting out like new leaves all the time so I think she's doing better this is Calathea Rosie and she's just cute like pink leaves hello can it can it be any cuter I don't think so and Calathea rattlesnake or I think this is like Calathea lancifolia it's called I mean she's like she's this is the no drama Calathea like she's she never wants anything she just puts out new leaves and looks pretty all the time I love this plant and then we have the beautiful bar <laughs> So I didn't use all of our glasses. I just used the ones that I thought looked nice out <laughs> because we've got like a couple of our glasses broke in the move and we have isolated, you know, singular glasses and I may need to let go of those in the future just because I like to have sets. But um, these are the ones that look the nicest on the shelf. So we've got big wine glasses, a couple of champagne, just a couple of sets of champagne glasses, and then these really cute coupe glasses. These are good for martinis and stuff. They're just kind of, um, they're small. They're smaller than I thought they would be. Um, but up here, I've got my, <laughs> I tried to do like a little a three with like three different levels. Let me know if you think it looks good or not, but we've got the mixer and all the accessories back there. And I really like the way that I reused this candle holder as a holder for like wine openers because like I wasn't really using this anyway because it kind of looks it's kind of sharp and it looks funny and I wasn't really sure that I wanted to hold on to it but I think I like its new job by the way you guys this is a fish bottle opener how cute is that I think I won this in an anthropology like one of those events that they have very cute and then as you saw, I decanted my liquor because we had such big bottles because hello quarantine um, into some smaller bottles that we had. And I think they look really cute. I wrote on them with chalk marker and um, that is what I'm loving a lot right now. And then the next to it is just like the rest of our little, little liquor bottles. Um, we got this like little Patron that like hardly ever gets used because I hardly ever make margaritas. And then I've got a couple of stemless wine glasses up here. These are the only two that made it from um, <laughs> my anthropology haul. All the rest of them are broken. I think I hauled them on my channel like three years ago. Rip the rest of the <laughs> glasses. I loved those a lot. Um, I just put the rest of the wines in here and I really like this shelf. I wish that <sighs> who Pottery Barn, I think Pottery Barn is the manufacturer of these i wish they hadn't discontinued them because i think they're really cool because they're so they're super industrial and i really like them and then i just stuck one of these bottles in this whale thing because i think it looks so good i mean normally we don't drink a whole bottle in one sitting but um so if we have wine left over we just put like one of those corks in it and we put it in here and it looks super adorable so if you want your wine you grab your glass and 
you grab your wine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration if you're setting up a home bar in a small space. If you have no floor space, go ahead and use that wall. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Wait, I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. some dinner? <laughs> okay. It's that sweet life. Raise your cross. Made some do crack a smile. He asked if I could stay a while. I'm living that high life. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway